I've recently found my new favorite clothing item. I went through a phase where I really loved hoodies and that lasted for about a year. But in here recently, I just can't get enough of button ups. Some of my favorite button ups have dropped this year from the two that I have here to the tomato button ups golf wing dropped. With that being said, I have two brand new button ups that I wanted to show you guys today. One of them is from golf and the other is not. I'm also going to be doing a giveaway on a golf wing autumn winter lookbook, the catalog. Stay tuned to the end for that. But without further ado, I'll go ahead and get to my first cop which is not the golf wing button up. It is from a brand that I heard about through Reddit, believe it or not, Perte Dago. I'm not sure if I'm saying that right, but you know, correct me if I'm not. And it is this Indian matchbox button up in the orange colorway. They also have a black colorway on the website. This button up is only $75, so it's a lot cheaper than the golf wing button ups and the quality on it is still very good. The artwork is actually inspired by the matchbox art of India, which is really sick. And another thing about this button up is that it was actually made in India. It has this beautiful, I don't know if you can tell, but this like white contrast stitching around on the cuffs, the collar, and down the middle of the button up. And it really is such a nice hit on the button ups. You can cop this button up for $75 and I'm pretty sure they're offering free shipping right now but they have a ton of sick other button ups and they're all very good quality and they're all only 75 bucks which if you're into streetwear you know that that's not a lot for button ups and I'll go ahead and show you what this looks like. Here's a shot of this button up on body. This is going to fit you about the same as uh, any other golf button up. You're going to want to run true to size on your t-shirts with these. This button up is actually very breathable. It would look nice, really nice with a white undershirt, I believe, but I'm just gonna be um, taking it off here in a second, so I'm not really worried about it. It also has this Cuban uh, type collar, like the golf, the recent golf button ups have, which I think actually looks a lot better than just having the top button hanging there. This is a very cheap button up. It's only $75, and I'm pretty sure they're still offering free shipping, so go check them out. There will be a link down in the bio below. The next button up that I have is from Golf and it is the mint rolling m7s button up this button up is rayon so i did not expect this to be dry clean only i did not read the description on this but this is dry clean only and i could not for the life of me figure out why this rayon button up was dry clean only and the no nukes button up was uh, you know just like regular care instructions with golf wing products but it's actually because of this back texture here so if you get this button up you can feel that this is like kind of a soft texture it feels like like felt almost but it's actually a process called flocking which is where they put a bunch of they like glue a bunch of materials onto a garment and they have this felt kind of soft feel to them that is actually why this button up is dry clean only but the quality on it's very good it feels more durable than the no nukes button up this button up is a lot more heavyweight than the no nukes button up it's definitely not as thin it's of course got the flocking on the back here we have the back shot uh, rolling m7s which is from a nerd song off their no one ever really dies album we originally saw Tyler wear this in the festival Pharrell did over in Virginia Beach. Tyler wore this button up, but it did not have this back print on it. And I really was a fan of it then. And then after they added this back print on it, I really just liked it even more. This is really a sick button up. And if you're in the market, I definitely recommend that you pick this up. And if you've been on the fence about getting this button up, I definitely recommend that you do so. But do keep in mind that this is actually a dry clean only button up. I will go ahead and throw this on to show you how it fits as well. And here is a shot of the Roland M7s button up on body. This button up fits the same as the No Nukes button up and the Tomato button up. So run true to your size on t-shirts. You can size down if you want it to fit a little bit tighter, but I like a loose fit. So running true to size will get you that more of a baggy fit. Before I end this video, I wanted to get into the giveaway that I wanted to do. Golf Wang gave these um, catalogs out for free. I know that a lot of people who might not be able to afford golf couldn't get one or some people didn't get one included with their orders. And since golf was giving them away for free, I figured I might as well you know spread the love and do the same as well and all you have to do to enter the giveaway is subscribe to this channel like this video comment below a social media for me to contact you through and make sure to specify which social media it is i don't have a facebook so i won't be able to contact you through there but i could do instagram twitter snapchat 
pretty much anything else. I will be announcing the winner in the coming weeks, maybe a week and a half, two weeks. This will be shipped to you completely free um, if you're domestic United States, if you're international. I'll still give you this uh, catalog for free, but you'll have to cover the shipping cost. Just let me know if you're international before I ship it and we can work out something for the shipping cost. But if you're domestic United States, this will be shipped to you completely free of charge. And I hope you guys enjoy the rest of your day. Like, subscribe, and comment below to enter the giveaway. And stay tuned for many more golf, lane, and streetwear videos to come.